Hoot, I think I need to write another story for you. Doing a good job mixing the muffins. That, my friends, is how you make homemade grape juice. Ayo! 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 Good morning, guys. So, Aspen is starting our day, of course, with preschool. And today we're gonna make, we have a little template printed out and a poem for the back. And he is making, because he's working on the letter B, a bumblebee handprint B. Are you ready? You want to make a bumblebee? Laugh, With your hands? This is going to be so hey, I... Handprint B, and then it's got the little poem on the back. We'll let it dry, and he'll put it in his special okay, folder. So we're getting ready to do high school, but my girlfriend Shelby just sat by, and she had promised Aspen. She brought the grapes the other day, and the green beans. She promised Aspen she would bring farm fresh apples, and she did, and they're so sweet. So that's our snack today: peanut butter and apples. They were good, weren't they? They were. They were really sweet. Ooh, why is T upset? What'd you do? Oh, did you go in her room? What'd you do in her room? You guys. If you're new to the vlog, T is very particular. <gasps> Poochie, what did you do? The vein. T is really particular, my particular about really? her room. <laughs> Let me show you. I'm trying to find a light, guys. And she puts a lot of time into this dollhouse. Okay. Okay, and Aspen tore one of the things she made apart. <gasps> you're not supposed to get into her stuff. Get one more. She normally locks her door, but it was super hot today, so I left it open so she could get some cool air in here. <sighs> All of a sudden, I heard, Poot, what did you do? So Poot, I think I need to write another story for you. I think we're going to call it Pooty, what did you do? Hey guys, so we are in the kitchen, and I have my little helper, Ireland. <laughs> She's gonna help her mommy make what? What are we making? Muffins. Last time we made muffins, we burned them. Yeah. But first, we're gonna take out our overflowing garbage that needs to go out. Yeah. Seriously, you guys, I can change the garbage in this house almost twice a day. I'm gonna make some coffee. The kids are all excited because they wanna know what kind of muffins we're making. We are gonna make lemon poppy seed and triple berry. That's what the kids have requested. So that's what we're gonna do. And Ireland's trying to change the garbage. Look at my little helper. Good job, Bri. You want mommy to pull it and you can put the new bag in? Okay, I think a couple things fell on the side. You want to put them back into the garbage? You even pulled it! Look at you, big girl! The oven to 425, so you want to hit bake. And then you want to click it up till it says 425. Two one halves. Right, so what does two halves make? It makes a whole, if you had a half an orange and a half an orange, and you a whole half. Right, so we need one cup. Uh, I'll get out the mixing spoon. It's going to be plastic. Want to go ahead and mix. Doing a good job mixing the muffins. <laughs> you ready to put them in the container? Guys, so I have my big stock pot out in the sink because Yay. we're gonna make some homemade grape juice. Uh, Hopefully it turns out I've never done it before. It's turned out so beautiful and I'm so hungry, but they're super hot. Are you trying to snitch? <laughs> you are. So Matt has chicken boiling on the stove. I think he's making stuffed chicken breasts, I think. And I have grapes 
boiling. So they need to boil for about an hour before they'll be ready to turn into juice. I'm excited though. I've never made or had homemade grape juice. So hopefully it turns out because I've never done this before. I cannot even explain to you guys the smell in this house right now. If you've never made homemade grape juice from Concord grapes, you won't understand it because smells like I would have never grape known. Juice. It does. I mean like the house just smells like warm grape juice. It is so, look at that you guys. It smells so good in here. Okay, I definitely have to do this again. I wanna grow grapevines in my backyard. It might not be big enough, but I will find a way to grow some grapevines. So T came out to help me. We're gonna make the grape juice now. So I've got, my girlfriend Shelby loaned me this. Don't mind our chicken for dinner. It's cooling on the counter. Oh, he's making chicken noodle soup. Yeah, That's what I he decided to make. Soup. I was trying to figure out what it was. He was talking about stuffed chicken. Ooh, bad lighting. He was talking about stuffed chicken, and now he decided to make homemade chicken noodle soup. So it's all homemade today, guys. We're doing muffins, all those work from scratch. Anyway, we're gonna use this to strain the juice, which should be fun. I'm excited to try it. It's it gotta cool first. It does. It smells amazing. So it smells like actual grape juice. Tea is gonna help film for me because I can't do this without having two hands. Okay, guys. So I had to call Shelby to make sure I was doing this right. But when your grapes are ready. They're gonna be really like mushy. The insides are gonna fall apart. So it's gonna look kind of nasty and gross. They kind of look like throw up. Yeah, they kind of do. But anyway, these are ready to strain into juice. And then you don't drink just this juice, but I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. So I had turned this down to a medium boil or to just a medium temperature a little bit later on. I let it go to a high boil for about 10 minutes and then turned it to a medium. So I'm gonna grab some pot holders and then we're gonna do this. Right, so I'm gonna do just a little and I've got pot holders. And actually okay. I think so I don't get over splash. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in like that. Hopefully, we'll see how this works. But she said just strain a little bit into the pan. And then she said she just fills it up with grapes. I'm gonna go about that far. Anyway, so you take this little like pestle thing and you mush, you put it in and just mush around over top of it and that's gonna separate your seeds and your skins and get more of the juice out. And you just keep going around till you get all that juice out. And it looks, look at that you guys, it looks really Gross. nasty. And you wanna be careful if you have a second person by you because some splashed up at tea and got her in the arm, and this is super hot. Anyway, so you just kind of get as much of the juice as you can out. Just keep going around until you've squeezed out all your juice. And then you're going to just add more until the whole pan's done. And it does. It looks really gross, but I'm going to knock some more off of there and squeeze out any little bit I can. And that, my friends, is how you make homemade grape juice. And then I'll show you the rest after it's Matt cool. outdid himself on this soup tonight. It is so good. I added crackers to mine, but mm. So I have to take some bleach cleaner to the counter because it is messy. But this is how much juice concentrate that we got out of that batch of grapes. So you mix this, basically one cup of juice, and then two cups of water. So this will actually make quite a bit of juice. Guys, I think we're gonna close our night out here because Zane and I, what are we doing? Watching Twilight. Yes, we're gonna have a Twilight marathon tonight. So we're gonna watch a couple of the movies tonight and then we'll have to watch the rest at a later date. But if you didn't know, Twilight is one of my favorite movies. The Avengers is mine. The There's gonna be two more coming out because uh, they're gonna be the same movie, you wanna know why? Because they're gonna be two parts. It's gonna be one part and then a second part. Good night!